Here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you're my God. You're all together worthy. All together lovely. All together wonderful to me. I'll never know how much it costs to see my sins upon that cross. I'll never know how much it costs to see my sins upon that cross. Thank you, Jesus. Heavenly Father, I thank you. I thank you for allowing me to hear that song and sing it thank you jesus here i am to worship here we are to worship because we will never know how much it costs to see our sins upon that cross heavenly father i thank you jesus for your love i pray that you will guide my every word in this video in jesus mighty name welcome back to my channel I was walking across I was walking into my room and um, that was the song that was playing on the radio and I don't know why but I just felt like I wanted to sing it so maybe somebody needs that reminder you know somebody needs that reminder that God is worthy to be praised worthy to be worshipped and we will never ever know how much it costs to see our sins upon that cross but Christ took that for us he what he took the sacrifice for us so i don't know who needed that reminder i don't know why we we'll come up and just start uh, sing but hallelujah to jesus ah okay so i want to quickly share a testimony it's a testimony that i have shared already on my inspirational instagram account so if you don't follow me there you're missing out follow me there i use that account to just share whatever god lays on my heart in my personal bible study and just whatever he lays on my heart i just share it and i also share teasers to my youtube videos so feel free to follow me over there but i shared it there already and in my recent video where i talked about what it truly means to find your purpose which quick side note i highly encourage you to watch that video because many persons have the wrong idea of what it means to find their purpose and your purpose and your calling are different and i explain it in the video i'll link it in the i cards and also in the description please watch it if you haven't already but in that video i was sharing with you guys that during quarantine during april the early parts of quarantine i really felt a shift in my relationship with God, in my intimacy with God, and I journaled quite a few experiences slash testimonies, and I um, I shared with you in that video that I wanted to share some of those experiences, and so I felt led to share this testimony that I I journaled back in April. So I really hope it will bless and encourage anybody or everybody watching this video. I'm sharing this to encourage you and I'm also sharing it to encourage myself because right now I'm believing in God for a breakthrough that is humanly impossible. But I am using this as a reminder that if God came through for me for this, he will and can come through for me again. So many times like... I don't know if you guys keep a journal, but I highly encourage you to keep a journal because even the other day, I was just like going through this journal. Is, this is now done. I have to buy a new journal, but this is now done. And I have journaled so many different experiences. I write down whatever I'm learning in my Bible study. I think it's so important to have a journal because you can even use your own testimonies, your own experiences to encourage yourself. The other day, um, instead of having like a... Uh, doing like an actual like Bible study routine. I just took up my journal and I was reading my experience from the beginning of the book to the end. I was just reading my different experiences. And it was encouraging because I even forgot some of the testimonies and experiences that I have had. And by reading this, I was encouraged. And now I want to encourage you and myself because when I make these videos and I'm preaching to you or I'm teaching you or I'm encouraging you, 
I am doing it to myself just as much as I'm doing it to you because I have to take my own advice as well. So this is for both you and me. And if it blesses and encourages you, please let me know. Hit the thumbs up button because that's, that's the goal, right? So basically, at the beginning of April, the first week of April, I don't know what happened. I woke up one morning and all of a sudden there was a lump under my left arm. Nothing alarmingly large, but it was big enough for me to literally, I couldn't, like, I, I couldn't put my hand, my left hand comfortably by my side like this. I couldn't, I had to, for that, for that week, I was walking like this. And my family, my family thought I was exaggerating, but I wasn't exaggerating. It was so uncomfortable. I don't know where it came from, guys. Like, like I literally just woke up one morning, and it was there. I woke up and it was there, and it was uncomfortable. It was even tender, cause I like even when I touched it, it was tender. And I was like, what in the world is this thing under my arm? And that week, I don't know what came on came upon me that week, but that week I just had like. I, a piece of faith just came upon me because instead of worrying and complaining about it automatically I was just like you know what God I just began to become filled with faith and I was saying Lord I was praying about it and declaring that it shrinks and that it goes away because I, guys I hate needles so much I hate needles and anything I hear both say I got involved any kind of needle or whatever to inject it and like take out the I was automatically just no, I was not, I was not going to do that. So I was just praying and I was claiming my healing that entire week. I was claiming my healing. But when I tell you it was uncomfortable, I mean, even to bathe, I had to. And I remember that particular week, my father had started teaching me how to drive. And fortunately, you hold the steering wheel like this. So my hands were le um, elevated. So it was okay. Like once my hand was elevated, I'm good. I'm good. And like when I went to bed at night, um, because I'm sleeping, I can't feel it. But then obviously when I'm sleeping, my hands are by my side. So what would happen is that when I wake up, it's tender. And I had to literally carefully shift my hand off my side and lift it up to let it breathe. And I don't know what happened. I don't know how it came up on me where it came from whatever but i know it was painful and very just just it was just uncomfortable and during the course of that week my father because obviously i shared it with my family and my father he had this particular cream um that apparently i don't know what it's called or i don't remember what it's called or anything but he has this cream that he said that um would be good to rub on it because it would help um with the shrinkage um, so I rubbed, I, I took the cream and I dedicated to rubbing it. I dedicated to rubbing it every day as of that point. And whenever I rubbed it, I prayed because guys, I want to just encourage you whenever you're taking any kind of cream, any kind of pill, pray. Because as Christians, we don't believe in the power of the pill, but we believe in the power of God that can work through the pill. Because God can work through pills. He can heal us through doctors. They're there for a reason, right? Um, sometimes God will give you a miracle. But then sometimes he'll also send you to the doctor to get your miracle through them or to get your healing through them, right? So medication isn't bad, but pray over them. Don't just merely take them. So even if it's just a headache and you're taking a painkiller, girls, your cramps, and you're taking a painkiller, pray over it. I remember, just quick side notes, I remember one time, probably last year or the year before, I was having some severe cramps. When I tell you severe, I mean I could not lie down, I could not walk, I could not sit comfortably. It was really bad. And you, normally I try to bear it, but that one was unbearable. So I took a painkiller, I prayed over it, took it, and I declared that it would be, the pain would like dissipate, let me tell you something. That was the fastest I ever saw pills work. It was within five or so minutes, and I'm not exaggerating. Within about five or so minutes, I was able to walk around my house. I couldn't even run. Like, it, the pain, it went away. So I want to just encourage, whenever you're taking a pill for something, a painkiller, no matter how small it might be, 
pray over like how you pray over your food and you pray over your, your drink or whatever pray over your medication because we believe in the power of god working through the medication right so i prayed over the cream and every time i anointed it on my body every time i rubbed it on i anointed it i prayed over it right and guys whew, every day i just claim say by the end of that week it's gonna be gone it's gonna be shrunk it's gonna shrink it's gonna and in about five or six days and i journaled i journaled it and i dated it april 8th and i wrote i got my healing april 8th and this is what i wrote i said i woke up this morning and for the first time in about five or six days i'm able to put my left hand completely down to my side the lump has shrunken not completely but to the point where i'm no longer feeling that much pain and discomfort during this period every time i prayed i declared my healing and god has been sending me all kind of messages i remember that week like as i was believing god for my healing he kept sending me different messages to different posts just time just like timely posts and it, the messages were just all about keep like keep the faith um and keep i just kept speaking my breakthrough keep speaking your breakthrough keep keep the faith it was just different messages that i was getting that week that were just so timely for me i knew it had to be god and i've been claiming romans 4 verse 17 where it says to call those things that be not as though they were so i've been calling my healing that wasn't you know healed at the time as if it was i know this morning god came through for me hallelujah i wrote that april 8 2020 i just woke up one morning after that entire week of just claiming and believing, I woke up that morning and all of a sudden, I was able to, I remember I was so happy. Because first of all, I told God that whenever I got my healing, that I would declare it publicly and I would praise him publicly. And that that's why I went to share the post on my my page. This video is actually a longer version of what I actually shared. Um, so, <laughs> glory to God. But um, I remember I was so happy I made the, the video right away and shared it. And I went outside to my family that, oh my gosh, look, I can now put my hand by my side. Because guys, when I tell you, for the entire week, I was walking like this. It was, I couldn't, I physically could not put down my hand. And God is just so glorious. And this is just encouraging to me because in the name of jesus as i believe in god for my other breakthrough lord you came through for me already i know and i know that you will do it again and for anybody who is watching this video who is believing in you for something no matter how small it is i declare and i release a breakthrough in the name of jesus i release your healing i release that faith that you need to receive that healing and I release favor. I release breakthrough. I release your supernatural power, God, upon your people watching this video, believing in you for their healing. Guys, claim your healing and speak to your situations. So call the lump by its name. Say lump shrink now in the name of Jesus. Call whatever it is by, your, by its name and tell it to go in the name of Jesus. And it may not happen instantaneously because there are things that for me I prayed for and it, it will go away instantaneously. Like the, 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 the thing I shared with you about my cramps, in five minutes it was gone. Whereas for this it was a week and it was gone. Certain things have different timelines, but according to God's will and his timeline, it will come through for you. And how I knew it was God's will to heal me is because God says in his word that by his stripes, we are healed. He died on that cross so that we could be healed, delivered and made whole. So no, the spirit of God lives inside of us if we are believers of Jesus Christ. And so no sickness or infirmity can remain in our bodies. It cannot stay. Because the Spirit of God lives in us. So that infirmity cannot stay. So speak to it and say, infirmity, go in the name of Jesus. Because you cannot stay where the Holy Spirit resides. Which is in our body. We're the temple of God, right? So that's it. I want to just share that really quickly to encourage myself and encourage anybody else who is believing in God for something. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you, if you have any testimonies, comment them down below. And if you're believing in God for something, comment it down below as well so I can pray for you. And you will see me in my next video. Bye.